I promise teach karate. That to my part. You promise learn. So here's the scoop on the new Karate Kid movie. It's shaping up to be an epic blast from the past with some fresh faces thrown into the mix. Get ready to wax on and wax off because Ralph Macchio and Jackie Chan are both making a comeback, reprising their iconic roles. Yep, Macchio is slipping back into his karate gi as Daniel LaRusso, the OG Karate Kid from the classic films and the hit series Cobra Kai. And who could forget Jackie Chan's memorable portrayal of Mr. Han in the 2010 Karate Kid remake? Well, he's back too, ready to kick some butt and drop some wisdom. But that's not all. In a move that has fans buzzing with excitement, Sony Pictures dropped a bombshell. They're bringing together all eras of the Karate Kid franchise. Yep, you heard that right. From Daniel's early days to his latest adventures in Cobra Kai, every chapter is officially canon and will be represented in the new movie. And guess what? The casting news just keeps getting better. After a worldwide search, they found their leading man, Ben Wang, known for his stellar performance in American-born Chinese. This rising star is set to take on the role of the titular Karate Kid, and fans can't wait to see him in action. But wait, there's more! Ming-Na Wen, the queen of badassery, has joined the cast, though her character remains shrouded in mystery. And get this, Sadie Stanley, known for her role in Kim Possible, is set to play the romantic interest opposite Ben Wang's character. Talk about a match made in karate heaven. Oh, and let's not forget about Joshua Jackson, best known for his role in Dawson's Creek. He's stepping into the ring as Sadie's father, adding even more star power to the mix. With an all-star cast like this and the promise of blending old-school charm with fresh new twists, the new Karate Kid movie is shaping up to be one heck of a ride. So, grab your headbands and practice your crane kicks because this is one movie event you won't want to miss. Believe it or not, the first Karate Kid movie came out way back in 1984. That's right, over 40 years ago. And guess what? The whole wax on, wax off legacy is still going strong. We've got the awesome Cobra Kai series on Netflix keeping the karate flame alive, and now, drum roll please, there's a brand new Karate Kid movie coming out in 2024. Back in the day, the original movies followed Daniel LaRusso as he learned karate and kicked some serious bully butt. Then in 2010, there was another Karate Kid movie with Jaden Smith learning Kung Fu instead, which was pretty cool too. Now, after a whole decade, we're getting a brand new Karate Kid adventure. Sony Pictures is keeping things under wraps about the plot and characters, but they're calling it a return to the original Karate Kid franchise. There are also some hints that it might be a soft reboot, which makes sense since the Cobra Kai series has already done a fantastic job of continuing the original story. Speaking of Cobra Kai, that show's success is definitely fueling the hype for this new movie. So, like I said, the new Karate Kid movie is coming out in 2024, and it looks like things are moving full speed ahead. According to a recent post on Sony Pictures' X page, filming has officially begun. They even shared some photos from the set, including one with the movie's Slate and the new star, Ben Wang. There's also another interesting photo with the Slate next to a pizza box. Maybe that's a hint about the movie's setting or story. We'll have to wait and see, but one thing's for sure, the Karate Kid universe is definitely expanding. While specific plot points remain under wraps, the upcoming Karate Kid movie promises an intriguing shift in location and characters. What we do know is that the narrative will revolve around a teenage protagonist hailing from China, embarking on a transformative journey under the guidance of a strict yet nurturing mentor, presumably portrayed by Jackie Chan reprising his role as Mr. Han. This relocation of the story from the familiar West Coast setting of the U.S. to the East Coast adds an element of novelty and freshness to the franchise. However, the precise manner in which this new storyline will intersect with the established lore of the original Karate Kid saga remains a subject of speculation and anticipation. The confirmation of Ralph Macchio's return as Daniel LaRusso injects a sense of continuity and nostalgia into the mix. His presence suggests a merging of the rebooted storyline with the narrative arc of the beloved original film, hinting at a unified cinematic universe that bridges past and present iterations of the Karate Kid legacy. Yet while this revelation may offer fans a glimmer of insight into the overarching narrative framework, 
Many questions still linger regarding the intricacies of how the new movie will reconcile divergent storylines and character trajectories from the past. Only time will unveil the true extent of the connections between the forthcoming Karate Kid installment and its predecessors, leaving audiences eagerly awaiting further revelations as the project develops. As the movie's December 14 release date approaches, eager viewers can expect further insights into the storyline. While details remain scarce, it is speculated that the plot will revolve around Wang's character, a student from China undergoing training under the tutelage of Mr. Han. The burning questions linger. How will LaRusso and Mr. Han's paths intersect? Will any other familiar faces from the Karate Kid universe make an appearance? Although the movie won't directly tie into Cobra Kai, it's slated to connect with the original film series, promising a seamless blend of nostalgia and fresh storytelling. With production officially underway, fans can anticipate a steady stream of updates and teasers leading up to the highly anticipated release of the Karate Kid reboot. The Karate Kid reboot's connection to the Cobra Kai universe might seem far-fetched at first glance, but upon closer examination, the changes made in the reboot actually make the theory work. With Daniel LaRusso becoming Dre Parker, Mr. Miyagi transforming into Mr. Han, and Johnny Lawrence being reimagined as Chang, the parallels between the two versions become evident. Even iconic scenes like the wax-on, wax-off training sequence are reinterpreted in the reboot, with Dre's training involving jacket-on, jacket-off. While the general storyline diverges, these subtle nods create a plausible link between the two narratives. Despite the lack of explicit hints connecting the reboot to Cobra Kai, there's no reason to discount the possibility that the characters in the Cobra Kai universe could have watched the reboot. In this alternate reality, the Karate Kid may not have achieved the same levels of success, possibly going unnoticed or even flopping. The loose resemblance to Daniel's story could have easily escaped notice, especially if the characters failed to make the connection. With numerous karate-focused movies and competitions in the Cobra Kai universe, it wouldn't be unusual for a character resembling the main protagonist of the Karate Kid to emerge. Considering Daniel LaRusso's remarkable journey and local celebrity status in Cobra Kai, it's not implausible to imagine that his life story could have been adapted into a movie. His triumph over adversity and unexpected victory would undoubtedly make for compelling cinema. The release of Cobra Kai in 2018, eight years after the Karate Kid reboot, allows for ample time for any initial hype surrounding the movie to dissipate and for its connection to Daniel to fade from public memory. While the reboot may have initially contributed to Daniel's fame, the transient nature of small-town celebrity suggests that interest would have waned over time. Ultimately, the Karate Kid reboot seamlessly integrates into the Cobra Kai universe, offering a subtle nod to its success while enriching the overarching narrative with intriguing possibilities. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below. Oh, <laughs>